This video episode is about things that I regret buying and I'm really disappointed in. And we're just going to get straight to the point. You know me, I don't like to babble babble. Well, sometimes I do. So, we're going to start off with um we're going to start off with some pricey items, okay? And it's so not a bunch of items, but this right here, we'll start off with the CK here. This is an illuminator that I had bought. Uh, I don't know who, where I got it from. It probably was Ulta. I don't know. But uh, it, it, I don't know how much I paid for it. But uh, it looks like this when you pulled the top off. Okay. And uh, turn it upside down. And you squeeze a little out. That's how it looks. Oh. Okay, there we go. And we're going to put some on my hand. And that's what it looks like when I put it on there, okay? So when you spread it out, okay, it gives you, it matches my skin real good, okay? Now, I don't know if you can see it there. There we go. Okay, right here. Now, it's a, a little shimmer, real little shimmer that starts to fade, okay, pretty much as soon as I put it on. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. You can see the color, I guess, because of the lighting, okay? But, uh, yeah, you see a little shimmer, but it's it wasn't what I thought it was going to be or it should be. It's not, uh, it was a waste of my money. How about that? I'm not going to make excuses. Now, I have right here, and this is what I was disappointed in, in this tartlet. Now, this is a, a, a gel, okay, an eyeliner gel. I forgot how much I prayed for it, but it, whatever it was, it was too much. And uh, I don't know if I got this at Sephora or Alta, okay? But you see the little tube here? Now, I only used it one time. Okay? And I was really disappointed because I had to keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing until I got up to here. And it finally started coming out, okay? And that's a lot of product missing. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's a lot of uh 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 uh. I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life. Okay, I was really disappointed in that. I'm gonna go and use it up. It has a little spout that you pick off some uh, after you squeeze it up into this little spout here. You pick out some with a um, liner brush and um, apply it. And uh, whenever I get around to using it and using it up, I will. I I no. Uh uh. I was pissed. Pretty pissed about that. Now we're going to get into a, some uh, Black Radiance products. And you know Black Radiance is a hit or a miss. Okay, you know, so we all know that. And these little, um, what are these? These are uh, mineral shimmers. Okay, mineral shimmers. And this is shadow and liner. And it comes with a little doe foot like that. You know, and you can shake, see how the hole, it has a hole in it. And you can actually shake some product out and uh, dab it up. And it goes on like this. I'm going to put it on this hand. Goes on like that. And then when you try to smudge it out. Wow. So... And there's, yeah, it goes all out on my finger. So, who knows? Maybe I'm using it wrong. Who knows? Now, this right here, this one, has a little doe foot. And uh, I'm going to put it right next to the, can you see it? There we go. And um, it's all right, but... Um, it's a little glittery. I see some shimmers in there. Can you see them? Probably not. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't have to do all that just for you to see the product. Okay. How about that? Yeah, I really shouldn't. And another one that I'm disappointed in in Black Radiance is this moisturizing lip uh, stain. Okay. Now, lip stain? Hmm. I'm just now realizing it's saying stain. A lip stain? Nah, they wrong for this. Okay. Here's the color. Right there. We're going to dab a little out. I'm 
it's just a watered down mess and this is what it looks like and then when you spread it on your lips that's it maybe a tint so anyway on to the next product that speaks for itself now this right here I read I already tried to uh, record this video once so I already opened the package and this is that makeup remover pen from Elf it's got the uh, looks like a, a marker now this is a really cool idea okay and this product actually does work but it only works for a little bit it does you still have product in here and the only thing is you have to get this the makeup and the eyeliner off of this uh, felt applicator okay because if you don't and I don't know how to do that so I have the other one I opened sitting over there it's gonna smear back on to your face yes mm -hmm. so I was disappointed in that I enjoyed the uh, the theory of it all and I was impressed and yes it worked good okay but you only get so many uses before that little felt uh, applicator on there it's all dirtied up and um, you would think if it was remover it would remove itself it's a nice thought okay so let's go on oh let's go on to another elf product this right here now this is a eyeliner a waterproof eyeliner and I don't know where people get off okay on these eyeliner pens and I've bought different ones okay people claim here that they were good and well just, what am I doing wrong because they're not working for me because I have to keep going going it's hard at the tip is really hard so um, I bought one already that's why this one is still packaged yeah I usually buy two but I'm gonna have to stop doing that because uh, everything you see and hear on YouTube okay is not always true you know but it is good to find out for yourself so I have uh, another uh, product here. This is Wet n Wild. Now this is Fergie. Fergie, you know, she's pretty good. Her line is pretty good. And I'm not saying that it's not good, but it's not good for me. Hmm. Okay. So this is the Center Stage Collection. Center Stage Collection. And this is the Rose, Rose Golden Goddess. Okay. See that color there? got some pinks in there and let me see get me a finger here okay there it is right there and I am going to put it right across right above my knuckles there do you see it yeah yeah it's right there but and that's the problem I'm having this color I guess it's not the right color but I still tried to use it you know for some highlights and um, it's not working for me it's when I put it on it, it's, it's, it's a waste of time and effort because you don't see anything and I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just give up you don't see it okay now let me make sure Oh, got one more item here and this is an eBay item that I regret purchasing and I regret purchasing it because it doesn't fit around my big old neck okay and this goes on okay this goes on I think I had it backwards here it looks like this and it's supposed to be a choker okay but it's choking me I can't even get it around without me dying okay and I mean literally it's that tight so I can hold it up like this and I just thought it would be so cute really it is look at that but it just doesn't fit around my neck and I bought two of them I don't know where the other one is it's around here somewhere but that was a little disappointing as well and that concludes my twerps for the day if you like this video give it a thumbs up you like my hair give it a thumbs up hey now or just give it a thumbs up you know 
leave your comments down below I love reading your comments I really do and I try to come back comment back as soon as I can and sometimes it's not always uh, feasible with my husband and his cancer and I just get so worn out oh my goodness I'm gonna do a video on that caring for somebody with cancer you know it's 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 a big deal and um, hey sub me I'll sub you back and most of all make sure you stay blessed stay blessed stay blessed God bless you bye